Hi, today I'll be creating these beautiful cards. You can see I'm when I'm animating, putting my hovering over these. You can see how they are like rotating x and y axis as well. So these, this is, these are fully responsive cards. You can add it in your website. Let's start by creating them by index.html file in a style.css file. And a link or index.html with a style sheet. Basically, style sheet with index.html. And now give it a class of container basically. And the container will have a class of box. Now inside the box, I will have leave a span. We I'll show you what this span is, but for now we'll just leave it. And then let's give it a content. A card content will have a h2 of card number. Give it a lorem of 10, and give it an anchor tag of read one maybe. Now let's copy this and copy it and paste it three times. Why I'm pasting it three times is because I need to create three cards for three. Basically, there are three cards I need to create. So I've 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 just copied. Let's start with the styling of give it a margin of zero, giving a padding of zero as well, and now give it a box sizing or border box and a font family. You can give any font family you want. I just like this one. I will give it a body of display of flex, and inside the display as well, I will give it a justify content center and align content item the center as well. I will give it a main height of 100 vh. You can see how it looks like now. Now I will give it basically. A background of hash one d zero six mod k. I'm just changing the background of the card. Now let's copy the I've got copy the content and inside the content I will give it a display of none. I don't want to display it, but I will for now. But for inside the container, let's first style the container and copy these and paste it here and give it a flex wrap of wrap. Okay, now I will give it a padding of forty pixels and Basically, you are not able to see anything, and inside the box, I will give it a container inside the box. I will give it a position of a relative width of 320 pixels, also a height of 400 pixel for each box. Give it a display of flex and justify content center line item center as well. So you basically, you are not able to see because I have written display none. But if I comment it, you can see none. Okay. Now, basically, let's give it a margin of 40 pixel, 30 pixel. And give it a transition of 0 0.5 second. Okay. Now, so let's copy this. Inside, you can see that inside the box, I will basically give it a before, before for the bot, and give it a content of empty, position of absolute, text decoration none. I don't like that underline things or anything. Or maybe delete it and give it a top of zero. Give it a left of 50 pixel. Give it a width of 50 as well percent height of 100 percent and a background of fff white background basically i am just showing you that there there are cards like this i have already like just positioning the cards now let's give it a border radius of 8 pixel and give it a transform of skew x 15 pixels okay or maybe 15 degrees and give it a transition of 0 0.5 seconds Copy this and give it a, again. Give it an after the previous one before, and now it is after. Now you can see I, it is already aligning. And give it a blur as well. Give it a blur of 30 pixels. Now you might see that there is a background blur. I will give it a transition of 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. Now let's basically copy this box container dot box and give it a hover effect so whenever we hover over them we hover before and after as well so whenever we hover over them i will show you the animation we will get and i will give it a transform of skew 15 to 0 i want to change back to 0 degrees when before it was 15 degrees and now you can see that they are moving back to and give it a z index of 1 on giving the content that z index of 1 let's copy this display and display and now you can see as I have already again commented the display. Now give it a left of 20 pixel and I will calculate the width basically. 100% width minus 90 pixel. It's not working. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Now it's basically working. Copy this again. Paste it. And now we will give it an nth child because there are boxes for each. Okay. For the first child, one. 
for the first after and before give it a background of lenient mediate basically i will color all three cards differently give it rotation 315 degree hash f f b c double o double zero or maybe give it a zero a zero nine zero five let's give it a second color hash f f f u double zero five like that now you can see that i am getting a color from pink to blackish type okay i'll basically change it again by showing you now give it a f f b c double zero this is this looks even much better okay now let's copy it and for do the same thing for the card number 2 and card number 3 but for the card number 2 let's give it a let's basically change just change the colors h03 a95 f4 and another color basically this one or maybe give it give it for the same do i will i will do the same for the third card and give it a different color i will also change the other color as well 00 c u d D zero F F M. Now you can see all the three cards are have beautiful linear gradient. <laughs> now okay. Now I will give it will choose the container and box. Inside the box there is a span. Okay. Th for this span, I will show you what this span basically does. Is I will give it a display of block position of absolute. Give it a top of zero, left of zero as well, right of zero and bottom of. Zero as well. Give it a z index of fifty, and give it a position of sorry position not position point pointer events of none. Again for for the container box and for the span and before span, I will give it a content of empty. I will give it a position of absolute top of zero, left of zero. Width of hundred percent and a height of one hundred percent again, and give it a border radius of maybe border of eight pixel, background of RGB A two fifty I two fifty I two fifty and opacity of zero point one, background of filled background of filter of blur of ten pixel. You can see I am getting a little red and give it opacity of zero. Okay, now I need to give it a transition of 0.5 second. Copy this and paste it again, and give it an after. Now this will happen only when we will hover, hover over it. So for the hovering, I will just remove these, or maybe we'll copy this, or cut these, and I will I'll give it a top of 50 pixels, minus 50 pixels, and 50 pixels. And the both should be height and width should be pixels. <laughs> Give it opacity of zero, maybe one. I will show you one specific setting. You can see whenever I hover over these, you can see a small box. Uh, whenever I hover over the cards. Now give it an animation of animate two second linear infinite. You can see that there is a small box on our board. We will create a keyframe of animate, which are declared above, and I will give it a zero percent of transition to transform. Basically, translate a y ten pixel for the fifty percent translate transform. Sorry, transform translate y again minus ten pixel, and for the hundred. You can see that it is the box is moving uh, up and down as well. I will give it a hundred as well for the ten pixels. Now you can see it moving up and down. Now I will give it an easy now so it looks even better. You can see easy now. The box is moving up and down. Now I will give it a box shadow as well of four zero five pixel fifteen pixel RGB values of zero 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 and zero point zero five. I'm basically giving a box shadow. If you zoom it, you will be able to see it. Now let's copy this and paste it, and we will give. It, I will do the after and after for the spans. I will remove the left. I basically remove remove the top and change it 
to bottom and I've changed it to move the left and change it to right. Now I'll go to the, do the same and remove the bottom and do the right. Now for the second box you can see that now the second box is appearing at the bottom as well. Basically the bottom right. Now I'll give it an animation of animation delay of minus one second. So one the upper box is moving down and then below box is moving up. And when the upper box is moving up, the below box is moving down. Basically they are moving up and upper and lower box is moving in the opposite direction. This animation delay will do that. Okay. You can see that it is looking very nice. Let, let's copy the container dot box again. Or maybe I change it from the container box. Now you can see that the, our content is behind that behind that box and why but I want it to be yeah, I want it on the, in front of the box, right? Now let's give it a position of relative left of zero padding of the 20 pixels and 40 pixels and give it a background of FFF while basically giving it a white background and it is appearing on my cards I will give it a RGB I want not want it to be white I want it light, whitish color I will give it a best 0 0.5 0 0.5 box shadow of the 0 0.5 pixel 15 pixel RGB of 0 0.0, 0 and 0 0.1 you can change the values to get the results you want and I will give it a border radius of 8 pixel and background I will also give it a blur of, of 100 pixels you can see how it is looking now transform of 0 0.5 second color of white basically the white color and copy this and paste it now I will give the same box the content of hover. I will give it a left of minus 25 pixels. So whenever we hover over, you can see that the content is moving a little bit on the left, like this. I hope you are able to view it. Now give it a transition of 0 0.5 as well. You can see that how it is anima animation is working. Now I will give it do the same for the H2. For the H2, I've given a font size of 2 em. I want it to be bigger. I will change the card numbers to card 1, card 2, card 3. You can see. You can change it. Basically, this is, you can add these cards on your website for the team or anything like that. I will give it a margin of bottom of 10 pixel and do it the same with the paragraph. I will give it a paragraph the font size of 1.1 em and a margin bottom of 10 pixel and the line height of 1.4 em as well. I will do the same for anchor tag and for the read more basically and display of inline block give it a font size of 0 0.0 1.1 em color of blackish color and a background of f white now you can see that I am getting the color but I will give it a padding of 10 pixels border of radius of 4 pixels and text recreation now and none because I don't like that underline now I will give it a font weight of, you can increase the font weight and give it a font weight of 700 and give it a top margin top as well of 10 pixels so that it has a little bit space between them. I hope you like the video. You can see how beautiful animation I have got already gone on this card. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.